President Biden vowed to make those responsible pay for the deadly attack in Kabul yesterday. U.S. officials said today there had been one suicide bomber, not two, as initially reported, but with the deaths of more than a dozen service members in one day during the chaotic evacuations, some lawmakers in D.C. are calling for the re president's resignation. Lauren Blanchard is in Washington with more. Evacuation flights have resumed in Afghanistan following a deadly terror attack. Since the Taliban takeover, 105,000 people have been evacuated. The president says he still believes the U.S. can meet its August 31st deadline to get all Americans and allies out on time. We have seen firsthand how dangerous that mission is, but ISIS will not deter us from accomplishing this mission. Thursday was also the deadliest day for the U.S. military in Afghanistan in a decade. 13 service members died, 18 were wounded. At least 95 Afghans were also killed when a suicide bomber detonated outside the crowded gates of the Kabul airport. It's a worthy mission because they continue to evacuate uh, folks out of that region, out of the airport, and we will complete the mission. The Kabul airport has been a dangerous and hard to get to place for those seeking evacuation. Both Democrats and Republicans have called on the president to extend his deadline. If he keeps with this deadline of the 31st, he is making a decision that Americans will be stuck there. That is unacceptable in any state and in any form. We cannot possibly save all these people. There will be tens of thousands that we leave behind and growing criticism over the administration's coordination with the Taliban. It was revealed the U.S. gave them the names of Americans and Afghan allies to evacuate. That's like giving the Taliban a hit list. The U.S. is warning more terrorist attacks could come ahead of Tuesday's deadline to get out.